Alors, ici, là, c'est considéré par les idiomes et beaucoup d'idiomes comme mouvement révolutionnaire. Nous devrions verser le gouvernement si nous ne sommes pas alignés avec les nécessités, les besoins sociaux des étudiants, des étudiantes, des travailleurs, des sociétés en général. C'est tenu par les syndicaux, mais les syndicaux ne font pas grand-chose, même pour leur propre intérêt. Hier, c'était une manifestation contre la réforme de chômage qui va couper les bénéfices euh, pour les euh, employés qui perdent leurs emplois, qui sont avec des emplois saisonniers et qui ne peuvent pas trouver notre emploi. Alors, il doit tomber sur le bien social. Avec leur famille, avec leurs hypothèques. Alors, ici, c'est l'avant-garde, le mouvement social ici au Québec. Québec, c'est la part du Canada. Le Canada, ça ne passe pas. Ça ne passe pas. Là, c'est la télévision anglophone canadienne, CTV, Canadian Television. Ils sont enchantés avec ça. C'est tellement intéressant pour montrer ça pour les anglophones du Canada. Yes, that's the uh, English language uh, television network, private network, that is. They're uh, pretty well uh, established by the corporate sector in order to counter the uh, government's uh, public television uh, service, uh, the first uh, television network in Canada called Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, CBC. In Quebec, it's called Radio Canada. And uh, the CTV network is uh, rather conservative and supports, uh, in effect, the prevailing uh, conservative government of Canada, which has a majority. Here in Quebec, there's a minority government of the Parti Québécois, which replaced the previous Liberal Party government, which is brought down by this student movement, by these students. These students here overthrew, basically, the uh, Liberal Party government of Quebec. And in the sense of permanent revolution, they continue against the Parti Québécois because they have not entirely agreed to implement the demands of the previous six, seven month student strike for free tuition. Free tuition as a social right. It's the right basically of the uh, poor working class students to be able to get their university education. Governments in general are not interested in educating poor students who do not have the connections to get uh, an appropriate job on their graduation and who uh, will most logically become uh, radicals in uh, various domains of society. Carré rouge, c'est pour montrer la unité en uh, colère contre la négligence sociale et le gouvernement varié. The red square is uh, carré rouge means um, the social discontent, the anger of uh, the students against the negligence with which students are treated, as well as all other uh, social sectors. It's carrément dans le rouge means uh, entirely uh, in anger against the government. I think the English equivalent would be uh, so angry that one's eyes become red with the rise of blood pressure. And here we are. This is just a preliminary demonstration. Tomorrow is the big demonstration. Aujourd'hui, c'est le plénière. C'est le commencement, le vrai commencement.
of the uh, far left that uh, support and participate and build the student movement. But this is uh, unlike uh, any uh, kind of uh, European phenomenon where there is a political party behind the scenes that is directing things along. And certainly not like the days of uh, when the Communist Party had hegemony over the left. And snuck into the positions of uh, decision making on various social movements to guide them along the uh, political uh, preconditions established by a uh, local hierarchy. 
No. This is something that is much more conscious of itself as a movement. This is a true social movement. 